Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial on Action Studios and in today's tutorial we are going to be creating some sort of a uh, well, 3D effect in After Effects, um, which is this uh, 3D layer splitting effect. I don't know why it is lagging so much right now. But anyways, um, yeah, what we want to create uh, is um, like this, this 3D camera angle uh, change. As you can see in those two examples, uh, I guess we're gonna do the first one, the, the phone thing, because this is just way too many shape layers and this is also why it's uh, lagging a bit right now. But um, I think you get the idea, it's kind of like a breakdown of what uh, how an app works or a breakdown of uh, a some, some sort of device or something. There's a uh, quick example on Google, if you uh, type in some phone parts or whatever, uh, you're gonna get some sort of uh, images of a, of the st structure of devices, and that's pretty much what this uh, technique is useful for. Um, and yeah, I'd say let's jump right into it. Um, um, for that, we're gonna create a new sh uh, new composition, pressing Control N, and uh, all those properties properties are. Uh, Pretty good, 1920, uh, 30 frames, six seconds, perfect. Okay, now let's just create some background first. So control Y for background for a solid and um, let's go for some very bright red. Okay, mm, it's probably way lighter, okay. Okay, cool. And as a next step, we are gonna create a just a, a random rectangle which should have some kind of a phone shape. Um, so yeah, something like this. And we're gonna center the anchor point, selecting the pan behind tool and dragging into the middle, pressing control and it snaps, okay. And then we're gonna center it, pressing, uh, going to the align tab, okay, cool. And the fill, uh, this is probably gonna be the background of the phone, so I'm gonna make it black and just delete the stroke. And now we're gonna have to make it 3D. So um, I have the new After Effects version, the CC 2017, um, or is it 16? No, no, it's 17, I think. Yeah, 17. Um, and yeah, there is this new renderer which is called Cinema 4D, the new uh, 3D renderer. Um, if you don't have that yet, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do that if you have some older version of After Effects. Uh, so at first, you're gonna select that, um, press the 3D layer thing, and then you can click on renderer, and um, select Ray Trace here if you don't have Cinema 4D, but I would suggest selecting Cinema 4D because it's way faster and you, uh, you have better options. Okay, uh, now you can go down to uh, geometry options and extrude it by a little bit. Like, I would say uh, about tw uh, 12 or let's, let's just say 10, okay? And if I rotated this, you could see that it's extruded by a little bit. Uh, maybe I'm gonna type in 15 instead, 15, yeah, okay, should be good, and rotation, set it back to zero, okay, cool, um, now I'm gonna round the shape a little bit, going down uh, to the roundness thing, and mm, way more, okay, so I'm just gonna make a, a very rough build of this phone for you now, um, See you in a few seconds.
okay and now that you have the phone oh something i'm gonna show you really quick just a quick tip is if you go down to geometry options you can uh, select a convex bevel style in order to create uh, this kind of iphone 6 look these rounded uh, edges and also i just noticed that it's a bit too um it's a bit too fat for an iphone uh, 6 style thing so yeah this is pretty much my model i chose i don't know why i chose blue color but um yeah whatever um okay and now as in this example we are gonna have to uh, create a few more of those uh, white screens with just something random on it just to, in order to um, present you how it works so uh, I'm just gonna duplicate this one and just draw some random rectangles like this and make it gray and then some other features whatever I'm just creating anything right now okay and down here maybe something okay this is just pretty pretty random what I'm doing right now and it doesn't really look good but um, yeah I guess if you are doing this you're probably using some uh, sort of app designs um, so this is just in order to demonstrate the uh, general thing how it works and then I'm just gonna duplicate this one more time, two more time, okay, uh, and another one, okay, now we have three of those, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna make this really quick, and um, just delete one of those, and one of those, okay, just so there's a slight difference between them, and here I'm gonna delete, uh, which one, this one, and this one okay now they're all slightly different and then we have to select all of those layers and make them 3d okay perfect and now you're gonna notice that uh, those layers kind of disappear I don't know why it uh, after effects does, does that but um, now in order to prevent this you will have to um, change the set position or C position of those to minus 0 0.01 I'm just gonna click Control A Control C to copy it the value and then do the same for this one but change the last one to 2 okay probably uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to type in this and that okay position minus 0 0.3 this is like these are changes that you won't notice because uh, it's gonna be moving in C space anyway so yeah it doesn't it doesn't make a difference trust me um, okay so now we have this uh, this whole ugly phone thing and uh, I'm actually gonna change the the case color again okay <laughs> whatever looks pretty shit actually fuck um okay i'm just gonna set this to white can't do anything wrong with that okay cool and now as we have those 3d layers we want to uh, let the camera move but how do we do that um well what i like to do is i like to move the camera around the this object in the middle instead of um, moving it around itself how are we gonna do that it's pretty easy you're just gonna have to create a new null object um, maybe you already know the shortcut if you watch my tutorials a lot I'm creating a lot of null objects and the shortcut is option control shift Y done okay uh, we don't have to center it because it's already in the center and our phone is in the center okay which is pretty cool and now I'm gonna make this 3d then I'm gonna right click new camera and uh, just I'm just gonna use those settings uh, click OK and then you can 
parent this to the null object and if you rotate this you're gonna see it's rotating around the phone which is pretty cool you could also rotate the whole phone but then you would have to create a null object for the whole uh, for all of the all of those layers individually and also we have to animate the position of each of these layers so the, it would be very um, unhandy let's say like that okay uh, so as a first step I think we're gonna animate the camera rotation uh, which is uh, the Y rotation yep okay so I'm gonna set a keyframe here and go down two seconds rotate this to uh, 75 is it yeah 75 should be good and then also so like the null object uh, hold down shift and press B for position and make another key from here go down two seconds and then uh, we can uh, manipulate the position okay it should be um, probably in the beginning uh, it should be zoomed in like just by 200 or something and then uh, just zoom out again and this should go a bit more to the left and if you tr uh, drag down the set axis you, you have to imagine that this rotated the set axis isn't the um, zoom axis anymore it's kind of the x axis now almost if this was at 90 degrees um, yeah it would be exactly the the x axis okay um, now let's see how this rotation looks like okay I'm gonna set the uh, preview thing to resolution third okay mm -hmm. okay cool and I'll select all of those press F9 and uh, you can go to the speed graph and manipulate them a little bit yep okay job done and as a next step we're gonna have to animate those layers individually so I'm just gonna select all of those uh, click on the stopwatch of position and then go down by whatever two seconds again mm, and then just drag whoops then and then just uh, yeah you can just basically drag those uh, on the uh, set axis so the first one I'm gonna set to <clears throat> minus 400 probably second one minus 250 and this one to minus 100 okay now I just noticed that uh, I shouldn't have used the white background um, okay just make it a bit darker so we can see that okay cool and now I'm gonna select all of those press F9 and uh, click N to end the composition here and let's see how this looks like okay pretty cool already now you can also offset this whole thing um, by a few frames each okay whoops uh, okay let's see if that changes anything oh okay this was uh, whoops I offset it in the wrong direction uh, this should be first this second and this should be third okay now imagine this being a pretty cool app and this being a, a way more a way better designed uh, iPhone then I think this technique would look pretty cool uh, now now I could show you the uh, this button but I think you should already know how to do that this this button right here if you want to animate that too or or if you want to uh, break down this whole phone 
but I think you get the idea. So those are 3D and a combination of 3D and 2D also looks pretty cool in my opinion. So do whatever you want with this trick and uh, please share, like, subscribe, whatever. There will be coming more tutorials soon and you can also write uh, in the description what you would like to see. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that was it. So bye.